Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report sponsored by Delta.Exchange and Tradex.Live. Entire global markets were negative today, but we moved higher after a big gap down. Nifty rallied nearly 200 points from the low, but then the profit booking came. Today morning, if you can remember, I mentioned three things. Number one, it technically Bank Nifty is long and HDFC Bank is also technically long. And number two, at some point of time, uh, there must be some kind of a short covering in IT stocks. And uh, the third one, you know, uh, you know, HDFC Bank can help the market, uh, you know, today, you know, uh, because, you know, other stocks are down. So what happened, you know, Today, all three things happened. HDFC Bank was doing very well in the morning and TCS Infosys came under short covering. But I did not expect TCS and Infosys to come under short covering today. I said, you know, before the result, it can come any day. And Nifty rallied. Yeah, the third point I forgot, I mixed up. Uh, the third point I said, you know, uh, we may not fall along with the global markets. So that's because we have already fallen uh, in the, uh, the last two weeks of March because of a number of local issues. And that is the reason why we may not fall. Even today, if you see year to date, that is from January 1 until now, the S&P 500, you know, the major index in US, it's up 10%. Whereas we were up only 2%. So there is still 8% underperformance is still there. So therefore, you know, unless some major news comes, what came yesterday, you know, Tesla fell 5% because of, you know, quarterly sales data and this and that, they are not major issues. Unless a major issue comes, you know, you know, we may not fall along with the global markets. So that's why today, you know, at some point of time, we were trading in green, while the entire global markets were trading in red. And US markets, you know, the futures are down once again, so that means today is the third straight day uh, US markets may be down. So uh, coming back to some important points, Nifty in the last one month uh, tried to go above 22,500 five times. Five trading sessions Nifty crossed 22,500 on the higher side, but none of the days it could close bill above 22,500. So today also the same thing. I think day before yesterday also it crossed uh, 22,500, but it closed below that. So in fact, one particular day, it went very close to 22,500, 22,497 something. So if you take that into account, again, there were six trading sessions. Nifty tried to move higher, but could not close higher. Forget about not closing higher, even the 22,535, the level which I mentioned, it has not crossed. I think the high was uh, 22,529. So, uh, clearly 22,535 is a resistance. But, too many times, you know, markets going there. So, that means, you know, ultimately this resistance will be broken. You may remember, you know, if you have a can and you take a small hammer, you keep on hitting, the more you hit, you know, the can becomes more weaker. Ultimately, one more time when you hit the, by the hammer, the can will be broken. So the same way, if a resistance, it should go to resistance one or two times, it should fall. But, you know, it's falling again, going back, testing the resistance. Again, falling again, going and uh, testing the resistance. So five, six times. So, which means that ultimately it will be broken, but of course, for that some kind of a uh, trigger is required. What kind of trigger? Either corporate results, but that will come only after 12th of uh, April and only the last week or there can be some positive global cues, but as of there is no positive global cues. But today the Europe inflation came better than expected. But you know, US market like but because like people worry more about US markets. And uh, the third one, you know, there can be 
um, you know uh, a strong institutional buying but today unfortunately FAs have sold for 2200 crore and the domestic institutions they have bought only for 1100 crore so at least last two trading session though FAs were net sellers but net institutional flow was positive but today net institutional you know it is still negative because domestic institutions have bought only half the amount what FAs have sold so we need some kind of economic data you know positive data uh, from us uh, global queues or you know uh, FAA buying you know uh, something must happen or a good corporate result so one of these things can help the market to uh, break out but as and when it breaks out i think i feel 23000 to 23500 box will be coming very soon uh, if once it breaks out the rally can be very powerful and for many reasons number one reason we have been in consolidation period for more than three months and three months is a very very big consolidation that's number one number two we have been underperforming the global markets by a huge margin by you know seven to eight percent right and then uh, IT stocks, banking stocks, you know, uh, these major stocks are still down. But despite that, you know, because of broader markets, markets are higher. And moreover, you know, uh, the SEBI directive came about mid cap, small cap, other things. But what I'm seeing, you know, last few weeks, large caps are underperforming. Now the mid cap and small caps are still moving higher. So my guess is that as and when, you know, uh, the resistance is taken out, there can be a quick move of 500 to 1000 point. So let us see whether my guess is correct, you know, uh, right. But as I said earlier, uh, whatever it is, you know, uh, it may happen maybe in the third week or fourth week of April, by that time the option prices would have uh, got, you know, uh, like would have eroded. So the meaningful, you know, things can happen only in May series. So, uh, you know, like one, one uh, strategy may be, you know, I'm just giving. So if you think that, you know, towards the end or next month markets may go up, one can sell uh, a call option in the current month, buy a call option in the next month at the same strike. So that's called call calendar spread. So if market comes down, nothing to worry you know there will be loss in the may series option but the more profit will be there in the current month but if market shoots up you should know how to manage so this is one strategy uh, you know one can uh, think if short term negative uh, medium term positive so this is one strategy one can consider so otherwise you know as of now we are still consolidating right just uh, last two, three trading session, you know, uh, though markets are moving very big, but close to close basis like 10, 20 point plus or minus. So that's it. So anyway, so for third straight day, US markets are going to be down. Maybe who knows, there may be some recovery. And the great worry is that, you know, the bond yield is rising in US, right? As I told you yesterday, I've invested about half a million in just last two trading session alone, I lost $15,000. I think today I'll be losing another uh, $3,000, $4,000. So in fact, I lost more than $25,000. But when I say I lost, people are asking, how can you lose? You know, it is not the actual loss. Okay. It is a notional loss. I bought a bond for 112. Now it is trading around 105. Okay. For one other reason, if I want to exit, Okay, I can sell it only 105, so I lose $7, right? But the thing is, I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to hold it, you know, until it recovers, it comes back to 112. Or in case forever, if it is not coming, I will not sell forever, but forever I'll be getting the interest. But the thing is, you know, so sometimes you don't know what kind of emergency you will have. So you may remember I came out with a video, uh, Bond versus FD. So if it is FD, there is no loss also, no gain also, 
but bond there may be some loss there may be some gain but if it's a loss it's a notional loss even if it is a gain also it's a notional gain unless you dispose it you will not be getting that so only the interest will be getting it so i think i have spoken too much today so hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you for watching